welcome players. Uh, I'm just doing a quick video uh, on some new items that I just received. So I just received a new turbocharger and I just received actually two this week. Uh, one rebuilt one and one brand spanking new bad boy. So I'm super excited. Now the brand spanker isn't going on straight away. The rebuilt one, which is the 6266 is. And if you'd seen any of the other videos, you'd seen that I did have uh, in my possession at one point a brand new 6466 Precision um, but for whatever reasons I'm not going down that route anymore um, and I've got a nice new turbo so I'll switch the camera around show you what I got and I know you're gonna love it <laughs> You know what it is. This is the G40 1150 going on the 2J, exactly where it belongs. And this is brought to us by the one and only PJ from Make Me Go Fast in Australia. Absolute legend, pricing, customer service, out of this world, honestly. If you just don't want to be mucked about and you just want to be uh, taken care of by an absolute legend, go and see PJ from Make Me Go Fast. Uh, seriously, guys, honestly. Um, but anyway, look at this beautiful work of art. Opted for the um, uh, speed, turbo speed sensor. It comes with the loom and everything. Um, I got uh, PJ threw in a um, flange so I can do the uh, dump pipe, uh, which was really nice. Um, I got the, here's a little uh, code for it. I got the 0.95 AR rear T4 split pulse housing. Um, I don't need to run 1150, um, so I can sacrifice some of the top end for a little bit more spool on this. Uh, here's the code for the actual G40. Um, just a work of art, I love this thing, love it how it's got V-band on both the uh, tur uh, turbo housing and compressor housing so you can clock everything really, really nicely. It's got obviously the water ports, both sides, oil feed and return. Um, especially when you compare these to like the Precision. Um, not like I don't like Precision, but the Garrett are on another level, especially now that they've got their performance turbine sizing and compressor sizings all sorted. Um, look at it. Ooh, she's gonna uh, she's gonna do really well this thing. So um, 0.80 um, AR for the compressor uh, housing itself. Beautiful blades. You don't know the name of the game. Tell me what you think. I reckon this is the perfect turbo for the 2J. Will I have to build this turbo in the end? I mean, build the engine in the end. Yeah, I'll definitely have to build the engine to get the max out of this turbocharger. But um, this will also help me a little bit. Uh, it'll take out some of the bottom end torque. Um, and it might help for a bit of grip, to be honest. Because um, it'll bring the power band in a little bit later. So fingers crossed. Uh, but what I will do is I'll get the um, rebuilt one on there, calibrate everything because um, I've done a few mods with all the sensors and everything, then once I'm happy with all of that, this puppy's going on, man. Yes! Okay, so I thought I'd explain on what happened with the turbocharger, um, because if you'd seen some of the other videos, you'd, you'd know that um, suspected sort of blow-in turbo or a turbo that needed rebuilding. Uh, so this is the mod that took care of it. 
Ross Rage Turbos, which is in Queensland in Australia. Absolute legend, got this done really quickly, really good pricing um, and uh, just hassle free and I really appreciate that, so word up. So if anyone needs any um, turbo rebuilds, especially oh, in Australia or even worldwide, these guys here are absolutely legends and they know their stuff. So this was quite a uh, easy rebuild to be honest. Um, you can see here that uh, it's looking brand new again, which is very nice because quite often what happens is the exhaust housing gets rusty. Um, so you can see the exhaust house housing's perfect, all been rebalanced. Um, you've got a little name plate on there because he's done the rebuilding. Uh, and what he does is he actually changes a, does a modification to the oil supply, which is really nice. Um, so that's happy days. And uh, the, the issue that we actually had, um, excuse me, issue that I actually had with this turbocharger was it was starting to get a little bit noisy. Um, just on when I turned off the engine, I could hear it sound like it was grinding. But what happens with the precisions that I didn't know is because of the, uh, it's only got an oil feed and oil, oil return and it doesn't have any water um, lines going to it. Quite often, uh, when you shut off the engine after a while, it will build up and the oil gets really sort of hard and sort of crustifies. Um, it's just the process of the turbocharger sitting there, heating up and then there's oil inside it and after time, uh, it's called coking. So um, uh, what had happened is around the ball bearings and stuff like that, it had coked up this sort of like hard oil type sort of um, uh, residue and it started making uh, the, the, the bearings and everything sound really noisy. They weren't actually damaged, it was just, uh, they had a bit of coking that they call it uh, around the bearings and everything. So um, uh, Rose Rage Turbos managed to uh, save the turbocharger, the blades and everything were fine. Um, so it was quite an easy rebuild. Um, he adjusted the turbo uh, oil feed uh, port, which is really nice. Um, and it just worked out really well. So I'm um, super happy with that so I can get the turbo and everything back on. Uh, tune is still safe. So um, I'll calibrate everything that I've done and all the changes uh, before I go and put the monster turbo on. Um, but I'm really excited for that. So uh, here's some clips of the monster turbo uh, and I hope you like. Mm -hmm. 